Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another Cricut project. So today, I'm going to be showing you a quick, easy tutorial. Literally, it took longer to paint the thing than it did to cut out the SVG in a little mailbox. So, I picked this up at the Target dollar spot. It was red. It was so cute. It was so cheap. I just had to have it. But um, there's nothing red in my house. So I painted it pink. You could leave it red. You could paint it white. You could make it blue. It's wood-esque. I never know if anything's real wood these days. But I just wanted to add a little pizzazz after I painted it a solid color. So I added a resin postage stamp that I made last year to the top, to the front, and then an SVG to the top. So you can grab this SVG, it says Destination Santa's Workshop at the bottom of the blog post that I will link in the description. But this is quick and easy. I think it's gonna be super cute for Christmas and it actually works. So you can put letters inside and take them out of the back. So sweet. Let's get started. Thank you. 
All right, y'all. So now that we've got our file all set, which was pretty easy, I cut out our piece of vinyl. So this is just a premium vinyl in this pretty pink color. I want to add destination Santa's mailbox to the top of this little mailbox. And I thought this was the closest color that I had to my little resin Santa's stamp. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna add this to the top of my mat here and cut it out with my fine point blade. This is the same cut file I used last year for my cute mailbox that I did for my wall. And I just wanna be able to set this on a little shelf. So should be easy. I just grabbed the same cut file and modified it a bit for this project. Turn this on. Just waiting for that maker to connect. The Bluetooth is talking to my computer. It's been a little slow today. Everything has been. I'm not sure why. All right, I'm going to grab premium vinyl. I'm going to set my pressure to more just because I think I need a new blade. It's been a little dull all day. If I had a decent blade, I probably would just leave it at the standard. Now watch, it's going to cut all the way through. That is the kind of day I'm having. <laughs> If I can just get through this last project, this is all finished. So I can glue this on. I'll be set. All right, I'm going to hit go. Cross my fingers, cross my toes, cross my nose. Everything will work. All right, everything looks good. Some of these pieces are so little, I was worried. So let me go ahead and weed this and then we will put them on the mailbox. Dun, 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 dun. Please be easy to weed.
Nope, not the S. Not the S. Voilà. Ta -da, da Destination Santa's Workshop or Betsy Shuff. All right, I love how it turned out. I love that it was easy. Like, I need more five minute or less projects. <laughs> Definitely painting this took longer and that's just because I had to wait in between coats. I painted it white and then I painted it pink so that I could distress the edges, give it a little bit of a weathered look. I think I'm going to put it right here on my shelf. I made this little um, tobacco basket sign last year that says, have yourself a Merry Little Christmas. And of course, one of my resin gnomes, I will link to both of those projects down below, but it needed a little bit more height to join the two things because I didn't want to put a new nail in the wall. I hung my tobacco basket on the same nail as the sign I normally have there for the rest of the year. So I needed something just to bridge those gaps a little bit. I think this mailbox is the perfect thing. I love that it was quick and simple. I hope you like it too. If you do, like, comment, subscribe, show your friends, tell your mom. I will see you in the next project. Bye.